This is the one episode rule. I'm Magpie. I don't have a joke. Um, you guys want to introduce yourselves? Well, uh, I'm Blackle. And uh, this last weekend, uh, an extremely large storm blew through uh, basically all of Canada all at the same time somehow. Mm. Um, because on Saturday, I went with my sister to go to go mini golfing and uh big mistake <laughs> because halfway halfway through like us driving to the mini mini golf place it felt like we were evacuating <laughs> <laughs> because there was just like so much snow on the road and everyone was driving so slowly and like um we were listening to the radio as we're like driving and they're getting calls from all over Canada about them getting like so much snow and I'm like, like from like the West Coast to like the East Coast, like people in like um, the Netherlands are talking about how like they're going to get St. John cement, which is when uh, it snows and then also rains and turns all the snow into like some wet, heavy stuff that is hard to move. Um, and I'm like, it's the apocalypse, right? And we're going to play mini golf. I'm having a good time. Black, yeah, Black experiences the twilight of the gods. Yeah, <laughs> just a real, just a real mini golf episode of uh, the day after tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Um, I won mini golf, by the way. Oh well, congrats. well then it was all worth it. Yeah, mm, yeah, it was. it was worth the destruction of of Canada. It hi, it. it was worth the destruction of humanity <laughs> for me to win at mini golf. Uh, hi, I'm Emma. I'm coming at you from uh, live from my brand new uh gamer laptop uh thank you to everyone who contributed to my uh to the sales of gamer girl tap water it uh it allowed me to raise the funds to replace the laptop that i unceremoniously destroyed with my very very powerful toes last (laughs) winter what I didn't know that. Uh, I didn't know that you had that tap water as a side business. I'm gonna have to consult our legal team about that. Uh, given no, that I... no, Magpie, you don't have to consult the legal team. You have to consult your financial advisor to see if you also want to get on the ground floor. Listen, I'm getting. I'm getting into crypto tap water soon. Um... <laughs> Well, you know, it's I, I'm, there's just some concerns given that I own all IP that appears on the show. Okay, I didn't um, sign any <laughs> contract. <laughs> Neither did I. It's in, it's, in, it's, it's in the general chat. It's pinned. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, shit. The, it's like a EULA. Uh, anyway. Oh, sure. Does that mean uh, I, I don't have the rights to... Um... Oh, what's a good gag that we had on the show? No, we've never had any good gags on the show. That's a good fucking question. We've never made a good joke once on this show. never been a single joke on this podcast. Speaking of jokes, uh, speaking of jokes, I'd like to remark on a news item that I saw just a moment ago that that I was excited about until I read the the fine print on it, which is uh, Studio Ghibli is set to uh, release 21 uh, films on Netflix. And it appears to be embracing video streaming everywhere but the United States, Canada, or Japan. <laughs> Japan is the wildest one here, right? Because it's there. I look, folks, it ain't rocket science. They're from there. Why <laughs> is it not available to them? I get us, you know, we're well, we have all our, you know, fucked up localization and and uh, and and copyright laws, but give Japan a break. They well, made I assume, those. I assume somebody else has the uh, has the rights there. Uh, much as HBO Max will have the, the rights in the United States for anybody who isn't smart and clever and handsome, handsome enough to perhaps get these movies a different way. Yeah, they have been out for a while, haven't they? What do you, what do you mean, like Crunchyroll? Or? Um, yeah, yeah, I would say a, a certain kind yeah. of Crunchyroll. Because my Crunchyroll <laughs> ends with .ru. Yeah, <laughs> you know, the- the Crunchyroll we use for our for our podcast all the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, Everyone also, has their own Crunchyroll. Uh, not and also not really a news item uh, because uh, it will probably only be relevant today. It may not even be relevant anymore. Uh, I usually don't uh, shout out uh, 
other regular ass people on the internet. But uh, right now, Angry as Fat on his Twitter is doing God's work by stirring up the Weeaboo population. <laughs> Oh no, I, what's going on here? And I, for one, truly appreciate it. And I recommend all of you go and check out the ongoing war. I'm <laughs> fucking terrified. <laughs> Between him and, and the anime avatars. Okay, I'm gonna, just gonna briefly look into this. Our, I'm just afraid. Our podcast really is just like a, a we stand on pillars of, of salt, but they are the salt is all different uh, other sh- like lo- small audience things on the internet. Um, we live we live on a foundation of sand, and every little sand particle is just one more angry um, weeaboo who came to the uh, um, I don't want to call this episode um, hentai club. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I didn't get what they needed. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, our entire fan base is just hate hate listening. And uh, uh, yeah, I take I, I would take hate lessons anyway. <laughs> let's uh, unless unless we have any more bits, any more any more funsies to do, then we should I'm probably low on bits. I'm low on bits. <laughs> low on bits. I'm uh, so low on bits. Invest in uh, invest in weeb coin. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I need more bits. Um, yeah. So I guess today we're gonna do another library anime. So I've got the list all queued up, and I just have to press one button, and we'll get it. So does anyone want to, like, does anyone want to make this ceremonial, like, in any way? Or do do you just want me to press the button? Uh, I'd like to, if you'll, uh, if you'd like to just give me a a moment of silence while I say a fucking prayer. Um, Yes. (laughs) Can you please say that out loud? Miku, help me. Okay, go ahead. (laughs) Um, right, one, two, three. Uh, I've got. Hey, wait, wait. I've got because oh. I've got something. I think it would be appropriate to uh, to pull out a a quotation, <clears throat> uh, a quotation from uh, from one Tina Turner, which is which would be uh, in the, in this case would be uh, spin the wheel, raggedy girl. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm gonna take a, a quote from our Lord and Savior Miku Miku Miku, um, which is uh, Watashi Miku. <laughs> Well, not not even right. <laughs> please, please just just push the button. All right. Um, we are watching Super Robot Wars: colon, Original dot dot dot. This is terrifying. I know what Super Robot Wars is, and I didn't know it was an anime. Um, no one's seen Super Robot Wars here, have they? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't think so. Super Robot Wars original. Super Robot Wars original. Oh, all right. Super Robot Wars original. Okay. All right. That's how they pronounce original in German. It's original. That sucks. Uh, yeah, hey, <laughs> let's watch the show. Uh, that was something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was. It wasn't it. It was yeah. a lot. I uh, I don't really have a have a I don't really have a one word to describe that. Other than, I I have kind of like a noise, sure. which is sort of like uh, sort of like uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's pretty um, much how it went. That's your my first word. Impression. My first impression word is breathless. Okay. Because okay. that's how it left me. And that's how it seemed to like exposit itself as fast as possible. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, re- I want to put out some revisions to the one word impression thing, which is this is not like a, like a high school English class. We're not <laughs> trying to impress each other with sure. our poetic leaning. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I am always trying to impress uh, you all, and and I, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. My word, my word for this one is shrimp. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I can see it. Um. I guess. Uh, can there be hyphens in our word? Because I think mine is <laughs> off target. Um. <laughs> off target. That's I think good. that's my impression. That's the name of my um. <laughs> 
off target is like off Broadway, but for uh, supermarkets. But for su- <laughs> stupid. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, let's stop being around the bush. This show sucks. Yeah, it's not very <laughs> good. It was a huh? lot. Here's. A- do you want me to read the blurb? Yeah, go ahead and read the blurb while I start formulating my takedown. A new yeah. mass-produced giant robot is about to be introduced to the world's military-industrial complex when something goes terribly wrong. The models, oh, called Bartol, attack the waiting dignitaries. Soon, the Bartol all are swarming all over the world, carrying out the nefarious plans oh. of an evil but deeply traumatized scientist. Employing a remote battling system that uses human bodies as parts, he has the new models gather up more people for his project. It's the pilots of the Earth's Federation Arby, Kyotse Excellent, and Bullet, who must stop him before the automated army grows unbeatable and deadlier. I hate the pilots' names. I didn't get, uh, <laughs> I didn't get any of that. <laughs> at all yeah from what i watched um so, i i would just like to open by saying how could how how can it be how could something go wrong with the world's military industrial complex it's <laughs> <laughs> a good question emma all I, right I, <laughs> as the most as the most like experienced mecha weeaboo here sh- sure Okay, I want to I want to come out with some points. Uh, this falls. This of course falls in, uh, like its name falls into the super robot uh, genre of mm-hmm. mecha anime. Uh, there's also the uh, the real robot, which is more uh, like Gundam. There's also uh, the 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 average robot and the the subpar no. robot. And then my life as a teenage robot. No, there's that only one. the two. Fuck you. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> All right, sorry, just trying to do a joke on our fucking anime podcast, but okay. (laughs) You're not allowed. Well, if you're going to interrupt me, you better interrupt me with a better joke. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, so, so it's part of that genre. And uh, it's not even a very good uh, representation of that either. (laughs) Is, uh, is, here's a question, Magpie. Mm. Um, So you just, you've just, you've just laid down a dichotomy about the super robots and the real robots. Yeah. What is Neon Genesis Evangelion? Uh, it's closer to Super Robot in a lot of places. Really? But it's, yeah, but it's more of a, you know... It, it's its own thing. I, but we've it's... talked so much about how good Ava is, but one of the things is, like, it's, like, kind of outside the genre in a way, in the sense yeah. that it's it's kind of, like, commenting on... Uh, to, to to be fair, it is a fucked up takedown of the super robot genre. Oh, yeah. So exactly. is that like is that like if I said my favorite mecha anime is um is uh, Neon Genesis, that would be like me saying my favorite soap opera is Twin Peaks. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of. But it's, yeah, it's exactly that. Actually, yeah. <laughs> but um, um, but anyway, right. this is a this is an example of a bad one. Like the designs are very like uh, bad. Yeah. Well, they're they're bad. They're they're very like uh, Gundam Wing or G Gundam. A little uh-huh. bit of a little bit of Mazinger thrown in there. The problem is, is none of them are appealing. <laughs> they're yeah. all so ugly. Uh, yeah. The only thing I liked was I liked the uh, the enemy robots because they've got like the individually moving eyepieces that like move around their entire the, head. The Bartol were cool. The problem is, is they were a victim of just really bad CG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the CG was crungy. It's just really hard to look at. Uh, all of it's... the characters look terrible. They all look like they were uh, made for a hentai. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's wow. Yeah, wow. Huh? God, I didn't you're really have so word. right. I didn't have the words to describe why they all looked so bad, but you really just knocked it out the they park. All look huh? like char- they all look like characters from that one thing I kept seeing ads for in game magazines back in the day. What was it? Mezzo Forte or whatever? Jesus. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> can I get us on this fucking episode? You're just, right. you've got it all going down already. Uh, <laughs> can I give, can I give some background for this anime that I found while I was looking, looking sure. around? I, I was uh, sniffing around the internet. Um, mm, I, I found that this, can I, can I please, um, this anime, this OVA is a uh-huh. sequel to the events of a Game Boy Advance game. Fuck. Um, and yes. it's not even the first, it's not even the first game in the series. It's the second game of the series of this Game Boy Advance. Well, if, you'd let, if you'd have let me get a word and I was going to get into that because the Super Robot series, which I mentioned even before the uh, before we watched it, is just long-standing, like, 
fucking tactical RPG shit. Yeah. The, uh, like, the reason why I wanted to say it was that so I could feel like I, I have a use in this episode. Because like Memo <laughs> said, you are really knocking her to the park here. Gonna, Scott at all. I'm about to crush it because the, one of the reasons that this show is uh, is terrible is that the original uh, source material didn't have that many original characters because it was meant to be a crossover of like 12 or 13 different robot series, like real robot series. <laughs> yeah. So like, you know, uh, there were Gundams in there and and like yeah. Massinger was in there. And then later on they had Ava's in there, which is makes that makes the plot lines for those games super fucking weird. That's <laughs> nuts. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was that was the impression that I had of Super Robot Wars. Obviously, I've never played any of the games, uh, but I know it to be just like mainly a, a big fucking Bandai Namco disaster of a game. <laughs> they put um, photomes in there. It's fucked up. God. <laughs> but yeah, Scope I always, I always, I always kind of knew it as uh, as like Mecha Smash Bros. <laughs> uh, at, at least in terms of like, it's just this like massive crossover game with like no real substance you just get to see all your good friends punch each other um you get to see all your favorite robots the problem is is this this anime series was kind of hobbled from the start because it can contain none of your favorite robots exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah they killed them all at the start so that they could have their own original characters <laughs> one of whom is named excellent one of whom is Her named name is excellent. just excellent and another one is named Bullet. Bullet and the one is just cute, cute, cute. Kyosuke. 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 Anyway. No, it's good. Um, uh, it's good. Other, <laughs> other things I'm mad about. Um, uh-huh. Just bad sound mixing, which is <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> really funny for an anime. Because it's like, usually that's something that you can just get kind of by default. I mix this podcast, okay? And I am a rank amateur. <laughs> Let me ask a crucial question. Did you guys watch uh, subs or dubs? I watched uh, I watched subs on this. Uh, the subs yeah, are another fun. thing that made me mad because like 95% of the uh, sentences end in a uh, exclamation point, which is <laughs> a super weird fucking tone. <laughs> Mine was really overwhelming because they not only subtitled the people who were talking in the foreground, but also the people in the background talking. Yes, I did like, too. too. <laughs> it was so fucking overwhelming. Yeah, so like when the fucking news report was playing, it was like, what is, who is saying any of this? <laughs> Crunchyroll, also... Crunchyroll at least had the sense to put the, put the background talk at the top of the screen uh-huh. instead of the bottom. Yeah, yeah mine, mine put the background at the top as well. But um, I, did, I did find it funny how Colonel Sanders announced the, the unveiling of the new, <laughs> of the new, of the new um, bar Swing stool. looking good! <laughs> Oh boy, we got, we have to LP that game at some point. Expand the channel. I actually, to be honest, it sounds kind of cool. Um, like the but, way that Emma described it as like um as like uh wait was it Emma or you who described it as like Super Smash Brothers but for Becca? That was, that was me. It's yeah, it's, yeah. It's oh it's, no, I wasn't talking about LPing LPing uh, Super Robot Wars. I was talking about LPing the Colonel Sanders dating. Oh <laughs> God. <laughs> do yeah, both at the same time keep your heads on a swivel audience um, <laughs> um wait for that I, feature to come up <laughs> i thought it was wild at the beginning i listen i normally i'm the one who's like good about this i picked up no names i know that the the redhead girl's name was excellent because it was stupid and i have no <laughs> idea who anybody else is but the the really plain looking guy with the brown hair who like the news came on and they're like, look at these fucking look at these. What are bar tolls? And he's like, Oh my God, they're so cool. And then like shows them and they're the ugliest fucking things I've ever seen in my whole life. (laughs) Yeah. These smelling gross, uh, gross gorilla arms and like, Oh God, they're and bad. they're, the, and they're yeah. the best looking robots in the and show. And they're the best yeah, looking designs in the show. They're the best looking designs. Because everything show. else looks like fucking King Dragon or whatever the fucking uh-huh. Chinese guy's Gundam was in Gundam Wing. Yeah. Wow, oh, Gundam Wing. Um, yeah. Also, this is um, this is from an era. Uh, so it, it feels weird to see CG so extensively used in in anime that's from two thousand five. 
Um, this is actually like this is when that started happening um, because a lot mm. of a lot of mecha anime in that era uh, were I would describe them as very lacy, <laughs> and uh, and they because they were kind of just geared toward like please buy our gunpla. Um, they well, stopped. I should I should I, sh- I should remark that uh, that the innovator of that genre Gundam doesn't cut corners usually. <laughs> yeah, Gundam. Gundam. Uh, uh, well, some of them are than, dog shit. I mean, yes, they really sure, are, but they don't but... cut corners. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, but this was this was the same era that um, uh, the off the top of my head, the Transformers uh, Unicron trilogy uh, came out around this time, and that was uh, very controversial because all of the the, the Transformers themselves. Uh, stopped being hand animated characters and started being these like cell shaded CG models next to hand animated humans, and they all looked so fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> I did get a lot of like, especially from the opening where like the uh, the the robots like merged together. I was like, oh, this is this is Transformers. But then it occurred to me, maybe Transformers is a rip off of like whatever we're watching. I can't. I don't know. <laughs> no. Uh, and you're thinking of, uh, I think you're thinking of Voltron too. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's the one where they combine Transformers. Yeah. They, Transformers ain't got no people in them. <laughs> okay, that's that's true, but there's still Some... robots that transform. So <laughs> yes. sometimes they do. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they do that in Gundam too, which is always confusing because it's just like, why does this robot need to be a jet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is. Um, uh, there is actually a there's a whole series of. Uh, of, of Transformers, where they're, uh, I, I, I'm being a bad Transformers fan and not being able to name them right now, but uh, where they are just humans who wear big suits, and the guy who turns into like Optimus Prime is like a like Chad with like a cropped red leather jacket, who's like always <laughs> combing his hair. It's fucked up. Oh my god, <laughs> that's incredible. You know, I, I, I'll be honest. Is I don't, I really don't give like a, a single shit about Transformers outside of Beast Wars. I would sit and watch that whole fucking series because <laughs> that sounds wild. Maybe that sounds that incredibly next stupid. Next episode. There's Powerful. something. There's something that doesn't come across in the show that we do here because it, mostly it's us seeing horrible things and then going, "Oh God, that's horrible." Oh, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's us a, touching. It's us touching the hot stove in our mind and being like, "Here, let me tell you about it." But uh, part of the reason I created, I, I wanted to create this podcast was the incredibly slow to- stove touching that I used to do with certain friends, where we would just watch entire seasons of shitty anime. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and mystery science theater them the whole time. <laughs> God bless. And I've been trying to recapture that feeling on this show, but I, I don't know. I think we're just going to have to roll with uh, roll with the, the badness every week. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. it is a different format, right? Like, it's not like live. It's not live. Um, yeah, it's commentary. not live. It's not a live commentary. This is a, ostensibly a review show, which is. Ostensibly. Ostensibly. I, I, I really. I I know that says that in my contract, but I still I feel like I could get severance pay ten times based on how it's not even close to what it. <laughs> uh, this, um, we should, this is like a Fine Brothers channel. Watch four people react to dog shit anime. <laughs> is this Optimus Prime in this gif you just this, linked, Emma? Sorry, I uh, we'll have to put this in the liner notes. But this is Jinrai who is or Ginrai, sorry, uh, who is. Who is the the Optimus Prime one what in the, the show? Fuck? How could I have fucking forgotten? By the way, that the name of the cartoon is Transformers Super God Master Force. <laughs> <laughs> fucking incredible! I love right. how this is Sorry, a we're getting we're, we're getting off topic, yeah, but it's because I, I hated this show so much. I don't want to talk about it. Also, I, I like how this link is tfwiki.net, which is <laughs> like incredibly. <laughs> so, uh, so, um, um. Uh, yeah, we are kind of getting off topic. I know we don't want to talk about this terrible show, but we got to talk about this terrible show. Okay. I can do uh, anybody do... I, I've got I something. Can... I, okay. I've got something. Uh, I did think it was funny that I spotted the Statue of Liberty in this show. <laughs> I did I did notice that, too. I was like, wait, they're in New York? So no, they're when? not. The thing is, is they're not in New York because they mentioned crossing the Sea of Japan. So where are they? <laughs> it's, it's very confusing. <laughs> what the fuck? 
<laughs> and I think it's somewhere like in the back, could... I think somewhere in the background is an Eiffel Tower as well, which is really fun. <laughs> fun. I don't know what's going on. I'm scared. Mom, come, the bar- come pick me up from <laughs> the I don't know where. The Bartholes just took all the monuments and <laughs> brought them to Japan. Um, That's what they're doing. That's... Okay. Um, That's all I got. <laughs> can anybody... Okay, here's my challenge. Name a single thing about this that you did like. Um, uh, I already mentioned it was the mo- individually moving eyes on like stools. Yes, yeah. sure. Yeah, Good the Bartholes good. were very uh, Ava Unit 2. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I've got something, uh, which is uh, I, I like the hard, uh, hard fucking left turn into horror at the end of the show. Yeah, uh-huh. that was wild. Yeah, when the I lady like... just <laughs> yeah, they just they just cut open one of the robots and that lady just pops out, just it's like, like Hellraiser her... style, just like yeah. hanging from skin hooks inside Wait, the robot. <laughs> fucking the guy. What is the guy who plays Pinhead? He's just like, we have such sights to show. <laughs> Super Robot Wars, uh, directed by Guil- Guilherme de- del Toro. Clive, oh, damn. Clive Parker, Super, Super Robot <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, um, I liked also how like there was a guy that was like, that's the Odie system. And I was like... Yeah, the, yeah fucking Maximilian Pegasus showing up at the end. <laughs> yeah, sure. He really was that. Fuck, I barely know anything about you. Know, and I know that guy was... Like, <laughs> yeah. I, saw, I just saw him and I just went, hey, it's that guy. It's that guy. <laughs> he's that on other this show. other... He's, he's doing a cameo. Yugi boy. From that um, <laughs> arguably yeah. better show. Yeah. It is better. Um... Uh, my, I think the only thing that I did actually enjoy was um, there's a there's a scene in the middle where some just sort of nameless, faceless mech pilots are fighting the Bartols, and there's like three of them, and they're like, "Oh shit, we're the only ones left." Um, and one of them just got in like a full, a real full on JoJo Nani, like it was so. <laughs> it was I did. So I wrote that pure. down. I wrote down I teleports behind you. <laughs> was it a, was it a JoJo Nani or was it a uh, Fist of the North Star Nani? <laughs> it was, you know, that's you're right. Because because be... in in Fist of the North they're they're too different. Like in, in JoJo, it's genuine confusion. In Fist of the North Star, it just means you're going to die in five seconds. <laughs> it was Fist it of the North was, Star. But... It was more Fist of the North Star than I guess. Yeah, huh? Fucking Kanjiro um... got him. And at Just... that moment, uh, this is a weird observation, but at that moment, I noticed that in the soundtrack, there was like a weird, like, fl- like it was orchestral, of course. Like, it's like the standard, like, um, uh, what's the word? Like, really exciting, like, orchestra playing. But there was like a weird flute in the background, just playing like mm. one note, and it really stuck out. And I'm like, this is giving me huge Philip Glass vibes. Mm. And Exactly, no people who watch this are going to be able to appreciate that statement. But I'm going to make it anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Emma did I kill <laughs> Emma? How oh did Philip Glass reference in our anime comedy podcast? <laughs> yeah, that turned me into the duck hunt dog. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded like you just turned into a tiny little duck. Hmm. Oh, All right. Oh my lord. All right. Are I was you guys, ready? you guys ready to wrap this one up? I, yeah, I've got a few yeah. more things to say, to be oh, honest. Shit. All right. Hit it. Um, okay. One thing is that, well, of course, there were so many people in the show and it was very overwhelming. Um, and they all died or were raptured or whatever. Um, and there's a few other things that I found very funny, like the, during like the, uh, when Colonel Sanders was like doing the announcement, there was like two, as the blurb says, dignitaries hanging out. And one of the, like the, the bar stools are like flying in and like one guy turns the other one says, marvelous, huh? And then they are immediately killed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, yeah. It's, a, you know what? It's surprising. The show didn't make a lot of an impression on me, which is surprising because so many people were just on screen fucking vaporized. <laughs> yeah. No, you would think. So many. You, you think would think it, was, it would arouse me from my boredom, but no. You would think oh. it was magpie food, but no. <laughs> um, um, another thing you, that I noticed. Are you suggesting in, that I watch anime just to see people die? <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, I won't Maybe. deny it. <laughs> um, um, 
I also noticed that in the very beginning in the intro, one of the lyrics are Mobius strip of intertwining desires, which is like, that that's is, a, that's a sentence. <laughs> that's incredible <laughs> for this fucking, too, like, too cool for this show. You know, come to think of it, I did, I did want to mention that and I skipped past it, which is the OP for the show is, uh, I would describe it as fucking ancient. Yeah. Huh? Like, yeah. It's, it, it's like 10 years behind when the show aired. <laughs> yeah. It's really God. incredible. <laughs> um, yeah, the show aired 20, 2000, 2005, apparently, according to my <laughs> library. Mm-hmm. Um, though my library has been wrong before. I think it said that, like, I think it said that um, AD Please aired in 2008, which is not true. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> which is a good, like, 17 years after it aired. Mm-hmm. <laughs> though it was a sequel to a Game Boy Advance game, so 2005 does sound yeah, about right. Yeah, Game Boy I mean, 2005 is right. It this so the show was only 15 years old, but it felt like it was from another fucking dimension. Like it was <laughs> yeah. so. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's, mm, it's hard Sorry. to describe. So many, so many of these shows age like milk. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. But the ones you wouldn't expect hold up. Like, do do you guys remember Steam Detectives? That show held held up great. Yeah, it did. <laughs> It was I mean, weird, I, but it's, it it was okay. Unfortunately, missed that one. It was um, you you missed it. Okay, yeah, anime. Yeah, yeah, you missed uh, you missed Night, Night Phantom. Phantom. <laughs> Night Phantom. Um, we we stand one anime <laughs> villain. Night Phantom. <laughs> but basically, um, just like uh, can we talk about Night Phantom? You must have listened <laughs> to the episode, Emma, where we talked about how Night Phantom is just like some. What's his? It's just like some American superhero who became a villain and moved to Japan. Just, yeah. yeah, just a real pissed off all night. Um, yes. So I I am heartened actually by our conversation uh, about this episode because like I while I was watching it, knowing that the uh, you know in the back of my head, knowing that Super Robot Wars is like supposed to be a crossover series, mm-hmm. I kept thinking like I don't fucking know any of these guys. Would this be better better if I knew anything about Mecha? Oh, man. We're going to go back to recording, and Magpie's going to be so excited, and I'm going to have said all this poopy stuff about it. But thankfully, (laughs) thankfully we all hated it. I come out, and I'm just just like, who are these fucking losers? (laughs) (laughs) Um, With their stupid weapons. Can I I talk about that? One of them has a (laughs) yo-yo. (laughs) <laughs> that was oh yeah i did write that down but i erased it because it seemed too insignificant to talk about but the physics of that fucking yo-yo were ridiculous it's dog shit nonsense like it, it flew out and then like flung around like, and the lady and the lady after that is a is just a rip off of a concept from gundam so. yeah you mean uh excellent uh no no the oh. the the group of pilots that i didn't bother to learn the name right I yeah who, who knows who knows? Um, I did want to talk about Excellence outfit. Oh, did you? Um, there was some because... pretty wild <laughs> shit going on. Very yeah. weird choice um, to wear uh, basically what appears to be a skin tight latex uh, uh, like um, uh, top underneath a um, like I guess you would call it like a um, a vi- like a, a thigh length um, a thigh length like uh, cocktail dress. <laughs> and garters in yeah. your back. <laughs> yeah. She, um, yeah, I would wear she, it. <laughs> she looked like she just straight up like had some some <laughs> some like <laughs> some like nori just like strapped to her. Just a real, <laughs> just a big black rectangle just taped all around herself. Um, yeah. Oof. Yeah. Everybody, there were some fashion choices going on here. <laughs> Uh, I liked how the uh, this is like basically my last my last note is that I liked how the uh, the bar stools had AT fields. Yeah, they, just... <laughs> they shoot them and the bullets bounce off. It's like oh, absolute terror. Nah, it's it's, it's, a, it's an AB field. It's an absolute boredom. <laughs> boredom. Absolute <laughs> boredom. God, it it's likes like, fucking um... lasers. It's like sure lasers, whatever, and it just like the lasers like baka and the like. Twists away. <laughs> That's how it works. That's the physics of the situation. Right. Oh, um, my my last thing to say about this is that at the end of the episode, um, 
Oh, we mentioned before, uh, they cut at the end of the episode, they cut open one of the enemy robots and uh, some like liquid starts spilling out and everyone's like, what is that? And then there's a, a human lady who's stuck inside of it. But for like a brief moment, when that juice started coming out, I was like, it's going to be fucking Shinji in there. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's not. Come on. You didn't think that. I did. I genuinely thought, like, Shinji or Ray or Oscar, Os- somebody's wait, about to spill wait, out. Wait, that stuff was, uh, Emma, that stuff was green. What are you talking about? Yeah, but maybe they had to change the color. You get, wait, you got to get your lemon lime flavored LCL? <laughs> this is the fucking Bob last That's LCL. Like- <laughs> <laughs> that's like when you get that's when you uh eat like that's when you eat like a, a a can full of um advil and have to get your like stomach chelated and they ask you if you want just the the just the carbon or if you want orange juice plus carbon yeah. do you want the do you want the regular lcl or do you want lcl code blue <laughs> <laughs> yes okay that's uh, that, that's that's dumb. We're ending this. <laughs> that's the end of the episode. I'm um, probably gonna name the episode that. It's so dumb. Fuck <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> Do we want to talk I about the Baja, email or whatever? I think Baja yeah. Blast uh, LCL is is very funny. Yeah, let's 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 wrap up and talk about the the email really quickly. Uh, um, and the, the Twitter and. Do we yeah. have any other things we need to talk about? Is it we have now? a. We have a SoundCloud, but we're followed exclusively by 10,000 uh, promotion agencies. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, Do we follow Miku on SoundCloud? No. I don't think she has one. But, uh... Yeah. But anyway, if you want to send us an email uh, to uh, criticize our our choice to allow Blackle to continue to torment the uh, listening public with this... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can send that to uh, one episode cast at uh, gmail.com. That's one episode cast at hotmail.com. Nope, Gmail. Nope. And it's one, the word, not the number. Uh, do, people still use, do people still use Hotmail? <laughs> oh, yes. for sure. My 60 year old mother. Um, if you, uh, you can also reach us on Twitter. We are at one episode cast. I'm usually, I'm usually checking that usually operating. Uh, if you happen to contact us while magpie's diseased brain is, uh, is hooked directly into the Twitter. That's on you, bud. Yeah. Emma, yeah, yeah but- Emma and magpie are, uh, are co-piloting this, co-piloting yeah, this Jaeger and they do not drift. Yeah, yeah they don't. A- there's a couple of hours a day where my where uh, I'm uh, I'm hooked into the stream to strip, <laughs> just just to shit post directly to it. So. Mm-hmm. Oh man! Well, thank you for uh, thank you for enjoying our anime podcast. There's, um, there's some drinks on the way out if you want to pick some up on your way back to the um, back to your uh, bus stop. I know it's hard to get out here, but um, this is the cheapest okay. location. Um, but yeah, thanks, thanks again. Um, we're cu- we're gonna do um, autographs uh, next yeah, week in the stop. evening. If you want to bring like uh, cards or like any kind of stationery. Um, but it's yeah, over. come on and come on in and the and episode take a seat. is over. Black hole, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. I'm leaving that in.